Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do this. How to blur the face of a photo using Affinity Photo. Let's get started. First thing you're going to do is actually open up Affinity Photo. We're going to click close for this startup panel here. We're going to go to file and we're going to open and we're going to open up that image there. That's the blurred one and this is the non-blurred one. So let's go ahead and blur this. Going to click open. Okay, now we have the image in the middle here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click and hold to get the either rectangle or elliptical tool. So if you're doing a license plate, you do rectangle. If you're doing a face, you probably do elliptical. So let's go ahead and go with that. Next, you're going to click and drag until you get the circle to the size of the face, basically. So that's pretty close. Once you're finished, let go of your mouse and then you can kind of move it around to where you need it. So that's probably good enough there. From here, you're going to go up to the filters and you're going to go to blur and Gaussian blur. At this point, you can actually control. Let me bring this thing up here. You can actually control the blur within the ellipses here. So depending on if you only want a little bit or if you want complete. So let's do enough so you blur the face beyond recognition, but you still realize there's a face there. Okay, about 31.5 looks pretty good. Then you're gonna apply. And to deselect, hold the command key and the letter D and it'll deselect. Okay, now we'll click on the hand here so we can kind of move it around where we want. But at this point I'm finished. Let's go ahead and save this file out. So we'll go to file and save. And now, let me close this one here and I'll reopen the other one. And we have two blurred. So that's how you blur a face or a license plate or whatever else you need to blur an address in an image using Affinity Photo. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. We'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.